Yeah, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical Tent and bringing you a plus 22 Dark Heart Thicket. Definitely pugged it. For sure pugged it. But we did good. We did really, really good with it. My healing, my damage breakdown looks like this. It looks like spinning crane kick, rising sun kick. My staff actually kind of cranked. And then Phalanx on blackout kicks. And then the healing breakdown is going to be Shaylin's Gift to Ancient Teachings. And that's pretty much my healing breakdown. It's just a combination of just fisting and stuff like that. And th these are my talents. Not much changes from Dungeon to Dungeon. This is just what I've been running for... Pretty much the entire season so far but that is pretty much it if you have any questions all please let me know i'm more than happy to answer any questions that's it hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day hope you enjoy the video i'll see you later yeah we're gonna just try our best really spell that be healing nice turtle be healing here and we have this freaking uh spiteful here what if i could just smash this thing anyway yeah we're gonna try our best you know it is what it is you know if it happens it happens if it doesn't you know but um, I still need to do a, what do I need to do? Black or cold, I think I need to do on Fort. So I still have zero rating <laughs> for Fort for that week. So we'll see. We'll try our best. But I'm really enjoying Keystone so far. And I'll try my best to, like, talk about mechanics as I go on. Uh, I definitely want to kick the despair there. And then you don't want to stand in front of the Griffins when they do their charge. So just keep that in mind. I don't have a dispel for this. Or I, ha I don't have to spell for this one, so I'm just going to cocoon here. But I think we're just going to spin to win here. The spell here. I think we're going to cheat you here, too, because this pulls a little... Uh, I don't know. Maybe we're missing kick. I mean, I have a kick now. If I see another despair ground, I'll kick it. I don't have a dispel for that, though. I think we just spin the win here. Nice. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Should have a save. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah, just don't stand in front of these griffins when they charge. That's pretty much the rest of this pull. We're going to whack them with the staff there. I've been critting one millionth with the staff, by the way. It's crazy. And for some reason, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what's good about Mistweaver, but the groups are, like, looking for Mistweavers. And, like, the biggest thing is, like, it's not taking me an hour to find a, uh, like, a group. So I'm kind of happy about that. Oh, I can't mount up. Okay. This guy just got absolutely obliterated. Okay, a little parkour there, but we made it work. I was mostly looking at my hunter, like kind of questioning what the hell was going on there. <laughs> Got whacked by his spiteful mid. Oh, that's too funny. I would say the hardest part of this dungeon is this first part too. There's nothing else really. The bears are probably the scariest part. All right, he just gets... If we get whacked by another spiteful, I'm going to be really freaking sad. Okay. Don't whack me. No. I don't want to be sad. Can't res him. Poor Felix. Down goes Felix. Hopefully we do the skip for the bears also. Like the two bears would be fantastic. Because uh, they're like a pain in the butt, man. Sweep everything. All right, we're just going to spin here. I'm also going to save my dispel in case they get... Yeah, okay. I was going to dispel towards the end, and I was like, nah, I'm just going to wait in case they uh, actually get that off. Nope. Get away from me. All right. Are we skipping this or nah? I really hope we skip these. Doesn't seem like we are. And we're, we're taking a break here. Okay. We're just full-blown eating right now. Okay. Are we skipping these? No, we're not. Okay. Which is fine. It's fine. Just got to do damage. That's all we got to do. So, uh, normally, when there's, like, ads stacked up, you can normally spin and crank it, especially with Chi-Jup. You just spin and crank kick into a blackout kick. It should be good. Getting fixated, though, by uh, one of these little abominations. So, send the manatee here. Uh, this is going to hurt, so I'm going to dampen harm here. Send a three stacker. Just do damage here. Maybe I whack it with the staff. I'm whacking it on use here. Really good darkness. Really, really good darkness there. I just rolled backwards, and now I'm stuck in a tree. What the hell was that? That was so weird. Okay. 
Sweep these. And let's just spin here. Yeah, which... Oh, my God. I got you. Don't you die on me. Somehow, maybe out of line of my thing? No. No. Okay. Good. I got rest of boy, though. I don't know what hit the boomy because I used my Shaylin's gift. And I thought we were fine. Okay. Gotta be moving a bit. Yeah. Or, all right, let's just do it up. All right. Yeah, so this boss, not too much goes on here. Um, he does a charge that you don't want to stand in front of. So the primal rampage, don't stand in front of him. And then usually fixates after that right here. Oh no. I thought that was the fixate. It wasn't. Someone gets fixated. They just need to kite the little, little ad. You can see, see it too. So feel free to just kite it out. You can normally just like kind of walk. You know, they're not that fast. I could also rob these. You could sweep them. You CC them, root them, slow them. Do whatever you can. Don't stand in front of the boss. I feel like that it'll even it'll hurt even on like four weeks. So just do your best to not stand in front of them. Okay, fixate on me. Nice grip. Chi burst them. Okay. So far, so good. I don't know what is actually killing my hunter back there. Huh. I don't know if he was standing in something or not. Oh, he turtled there? Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with the turtle. I don't care. Big damage here. You heal. Nice. Shaylin's gift is so much healing when you have the two set on them. I don't have four set, though. I'm very sad. I've run normal, LFR, and heroic. And still no two set. I guess I have to cocoon the boomy. Skin's a little late there. Be healing. Big damage. Send the staff. Boom. Oh, a mill. Love to see it. You do love to see that. My damage goes up. It's insane. It's insane. I love it. I freaking love it. Nice exil. Nice. Good. Awesome. Good work. Good work. Yep. Only like two or three mechanics that boss, but he does have quite a bit of health and it's it, the room can get pretty tight. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to drink super quick before this pull. I'm also thinking about going night elf. I used to be night elf on this monk and then I went gnome for PVP and I feel like just night elf is just better for both in general. So don't stand in the mushroom. Dispel the debuff as well. Manatee here, throwing Envelope Mist on my Hunter, and then, oh, don't run. I'm going to extend it with this Rising Sun Kick here. Nice. Manatee here. Send a Shaden's Gift with the two set on my tank. Spin here, Dispel debuff, and just here. Oh, no. Don't stand on the Shroom. The Shrooms are scary. Don't want to stand on them. Stay away from them. Shaylin's gift, or um, I would just Feyline stomp and then just spin on top of it. That way you get the most, uh, I think it is the most healing, depending on how big your pull is. Oh, nope. Dispel that. Manatee here as well. The run back is really far. Chigi here as well. Spin. Blackout kicks. I think I'm just going to cocoon here. I think, I think that's a cocoon right there, and we just chill. We just kind of just rob these guys away from my team. Uh, the Spitefuls and the, um, what's going on here? Oh, just hiding. Big damage. Pretty big pull. Just spinning here. I have tree. I have a uh, staff really soon to do damn whack them. Good. I can actually sweep this. Yeah, we sweep that. Should I just Todd? Probably just Todd. Yeah. Damn, yo, these these freaking flowers, they hurt. Oh my lord. They, I feel like they have so much HP. 
I guess it is a 22 fort, right? So, <laughs> dispel. Boom. Getting targeted. Nice. Good. Just a lot of damage here, honestly. I have Chigi here, too. Do we have Chigi here? Dodge. Dispel. Nice. Not on me. Get envelopments here. Manatee here. Oh, hello. Dodge volcanic. Phalanx stop. Dodge mushroom as well. Sweep everything. Once it's off cooldown, of course. Cocoon here. Sweep. Spin. Phalanx stomp. Spin. Keep spinning. Rising sun kick to extend any hots. Put renewing mist out for anyone that is taking damage because you want to take advantage of your two set. Look at this beautiful sight. Look at these mushrooms. <laughs> they should make them a little smaller. <laughs> like, oh my god. All right, I'm coming. Make my way. Oh, my little gnome legs. Oh, big crit there. Tank's doing a really good job, though. And we're about, what, one third done with the dungeon and trash is looking good. Not much trash after the third boss. Or even after the second boss, there really isn't much either. And then it's just killing the bosses. They, they're. I feel like this group is pretty insane. So we can just time it. I mean, just kill it, right? Okay. We also have Anu's trinket when we need. It. I'm gonna sweep this root burst. I can actually wrap the next one. That way we don't have to worry about it. Dispel debuff. Send the Shadowlands gift here. Yeah, I can wrap the next one if we need to wrap this. I'm just going to send the staff. Boom. Oh, hit him for it. Oh, hit him with the one, two there on that freaking plant. Holy cow. Hell yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that was a really, that was a, that was, a, that was some fun chain pulls right there. These, these mobs are hella annoying. You have to kick the cast that they have or they, or they fear you. I'm going to try to drink super quick here. Nothing insane. Just trying to get a little mana, a little juice before, uh, Oh, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing it all. Okay, yeah, that's fine. As this has always worked out every time I've done it. I don't have sweep. You get sweep these. So nice, a lot of healing here. I think that was silence. When I'm gonna kick this, I sweep everything. I sweep everything. Oh yes, well done, well done. Oh my lord, really good coordination there. Actually, wrap these two. Wrap them. Good. Uh, nothing here. No, nothing. Nothing. We're going to damn and harm here because I'm actually a little terrified. Nice, nice sweep or nice uh, stun there from Demon Hunter. Okay. I get that fear. Wow. That actually went <laughs> much better <laughs> than I thought it would. Okay. That's really good. That's really good. Fantastic. All right. We're going to drink here. Um, mana uh, should be okay. Yeah. Should be okay. I got, you know, I can. Let me just get a quick sip before. Yeah, we should be good. Should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, good, good. R. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this boss doesn't have too much either. It looks like we're lusting, warping, heroing on him. Doesn't really matter. Shattered Earth is a big cast. Usually, it's hard that you can't precast it. At least I don't think you can, because you uh, which we call it. Um, you get knocked back, which kind of sucks. So. Um, we're just going to Chigi here after. Shadowlands Gift lines up really well with it, though. So whenever you see that, just try to sh Shadowlands Gift after you get knocked back. There isn't much damage after that, though. It's mostly just tank damage and obviously avoiding mechanics if you can. And, yeah. This is just tank damage right here. Throw an development on the tank here and extend with Rising Mist with my Rising Sun Kicks. Throw new mist on him as well. Once I get it, Shattered Earth. See, Shadowlands Gift just lines up so well with it. Look at that. It's just, it's just like, you know, you just do so much healing with it. I also have my Anya's Trinket if I have to. If my tank starts dying, I'm just going to send the Cocoon. I don't want him to freak out. Nice. Well done. I'm just going to Anya's here. And I'll, I'll send the Chigi. I'll send the Chigi too. Why not? Let's just make sure we get through this boss. I don't want to, you know, fall behind or have my tank use cooldowns that he could use for, like, the next pulls because the next pulls are pretty annoying. 
Shaylin's gift here. So I think half the challenge of like Mythic Plus is finding the best times to use cooldowns revival here. Even though I really wish I didn't have to. I, I'd rather use my cooldowns than him use his. Should be okay though. I'm hoping. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh my God. I'm starting to get a little dicey towards the end there. Maybe I could have made it a little easier for my tank. I don't know. But we're doing we're doing we're doing good. We're doing good. I'm getting some mana here. I'll mount up. Um I don't have I have nothing. Like legitimately no cooldowns. So okay, we're just pulling it off. All right, fantastic. Yeah, I, I legitimately have nothing. I have healing and that's it. Sweep everything here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this 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 was a pull for sure. But I mean we're doing pretty good. Okay. I Okay. I I'm I'm just as surprised as everyone else. If you've made it this far in the video, just I'm just as surprised as you. <laughs> oh my lord. Is that pulls actually cranked there? Oh my god. Oh, please let me get the shaman skipped off. Nice. Yeah, I I'm listen. Oh my god, Lord. I am just as surprised as you. Okay. <laughs> and that, that was probably the hardest pull in this dungeon, I would say. Maybe, maybe the first, uh, maybe the um dumb flowers were also pretty hard, but um that one, that one, that one's pretty, pretty annoying. So and now we just pull, we're gonna probably avoid. Oh, I don't know. 80% is kind of low, isn't it? We're gonna avoid this elemental. Maybe it's not low. I no, I guess there's a decent amount of trash after this boss, right? Uh, we're just gonna sweep here. We're not wasting it because there's nothing really to sweep on this boss. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of spinning here. Oh, we're just okay. So yeah, we're just we're just pulling the boss. Okay, I got meleeed. So GG here. I really need to get this off. Okay, all on use here too. Uh, this boss has, uh, yeah, I, I like three mechanics. Downdraft, it's going to knock you back. If you stand into these, uh, go into the eggs, it's going to summon those those whelplings. So you just want to make sure that you just don't get knocked back into them. This is actually going to hurt because I didn't top everybody off since after I got rezzed. Breath, you don't stand in front. And then there's going to be like debris falling from the sky that you just don't want to stand in. Um, we are stable somehow. Yeah, I got meleeed. Maybe there was a way I could avoid that downdraft. You're just trying to avoid. Um, what I try to do is I'm probably just going to revival after this, like during this, and then I'm going to try to keep my boys alive for this cash right here. And then we should be, I have to, rec we recover after this. You know, I don't, I don't think there you have any other choice. You know, you have to wait to recover until after. But we have big healing, big damage here. We might have to go through that one or two more times. And I'm really hoping a single one of my teammates uses a cooldown. <laughs> uses, is this, are we going for an achievement or something right now for how many whelplings we're going? I, I, I can't, like, this is a lot, man. Yeah, my, I need you to skin, my guy. Oh, my God. Yeah, we, we got to press, like, something, my guy. Nice innervate from the druid there, but uh, it's looking. I don't know how we're staying alive right now. I don't know. It couldn't be me. I can tell you that. I don't know. All right. I need to Shaylun's gift now. Okay. Okay. That's a butt. That's a butt from the druid. Hell yeah, baby. I'm going to cocoon. Ooh, perfect timing for the cocoon as well. <laughs> Lord help me. This boss is so much fun. I'm gonna put do a little little Zen sphere on myself, or I uh, cheebers. Look at that. I have no words for that boss fight. No, what I have no words for what happened that boss fight. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. I, I genuinely no idea. Don't know how we lived. Don't know how we lived. But we did it. Not not one. Uh, there were some defensives pressed. I'm, I'll give credit where credits due. There were there were some defensives pressed, but I, not a lot. Not a lot of them. Not not a whole lot. 
Um, I'm glad that my team had uh, faith in me <laughs> to keep them alive. A little too much faith, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm going to sweep everything here. Yeah, a little, little too much faith. Do we pull? Okay, I don't know who. I'm going to kick that. Yeah, I wasn't sure if our tank pulled. I'm just going to Chigi here. We're just going to spin the win. I wasn't sure who pulled. So take that out if you get the debuff. Okay. Get absolutely smacked there. Wrap these guys away from my teammates. Kill this spiteful. And I'll res. The, 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 ro the run back is absolutely painful. It's, it's absolutely just just painful so it better to just wait for the res it looks like yeah we're doing a really good job with uh timing this and trash so um the last boss isn't too isn't too bad of course i'll explain the mechanics and i'll do my best and if anyone sees listen to me if anyone sees anything i'm doing wrong you let me know okay i'm trying to improve i'm trying I'm, I'm trying to improve at, at pve trying to get better um, I don't know how 22 stack up against other misweavers or other healers or, you know, anything like that. So like, feel free to let me know. Just try to improve. I think my goal is to just try to do, you know, one or two keys a day at a higher, you know, try to increase my lowest key every day and just improve. That's pretty much it. There's nothing else to it. I've cheated you for this pull as well. You know, it's going to be slow, but, um, you know, we're just going to do our best. That's, that's all you can do. So we're going to obviously fail and stop. We're going to cheat you here. And we're just going to spin the win. Kick something. I'm just going to kick something. Uh, dispel that debuff. Throw an envelope mist on my tank here. Throw it again. Extend it with my rising sun kick. Chi burst here. And we're spinning. We're just spinning. If I see any debuffs going out, if I see any damage going out, I also have a 10 stacker as well. Um, great exil there from the hunter. Dispel this. And yeah, I forgot. Spiteful is something we have to deal with. So I'll sweep as well. I'll sweep. I'll sweep. Once. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh my God. Okay. Uh, clearly there's something I didn't know about. C clearly. Get over here. Get over here. You're nothing. Todd this. Boom. I want all of you to know this hunter died twice getting back here. So we just lost like two or three minutes on this timer. But I think we should still have time. We we It definitely shouldn't be this close, but we definitely still have time. No B reses. But this boss, he, he has a few mechanics. He has a few mechanics. So I'll try to, try to explain it as we go. Nice. We have hero two. Usually you hero P2, but that's okay. But... Number bolt is fine. It's gonna cheat you here. There's gonna be two things that go out. There's also gonna be a debuff. You're gonna to want to dispel the uh, feed though in the weak. Uh, he just focuses somebody single target healing. I just used to fuse magic there because it was on me. So growing paranoia, he's gonna put it on somebody. You need to stay away from other people. I just remember because if you're paranoid, you want to be away from other people. That's just how I remember. I don't know. Maybe. And I know that there's probably a more efficient way for me to like heal. But my group is like all in melee range, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna dampen harm too because I think this is damage that goes out. Yeah, so I'm gonna dampen and then shade them's gift here because I'm already at ten stacks. And uh, all right, we're gonna go back to doing damage, growing paranoia. No, all right, and we're gonna chill. I guess so I'm just gonna crackle. Gonna cocoon here because we have no B reses. So big damage here or big healing. Nice, good. All right, Paranoia is down. Is on me again? No. Okay, good. The other debuff is, I forget what it's called, but you want to stack with your teammates. So if you get the other one that's not growing Paranoia, stack with your teammates so that you don't get silenced. That's pretty much it. We have two minutes. Bolt on me. Silence on me. And I get hit by Apocalypse Fire because I'm bad. So that's that. <sighs> Should still have time though. Feel on the weak. Nice AMS from DK. Nice. I was like, that was a death strike there too. So we should be okay. Nice. 
well done team oh my lord that shouldn't have been that close but hey we we chested at 22 which feels pretty good and i don't know if we get any upgrades from here i actually have no idea yeah gold is fine